Dear friends, here in Khmer, we're starting our journey for 1,200 miles. Uh, it's going to be an interesting trip along the west coast of Turkey. Uh, we will be on the tandem of Bering and High Suket. And one of the things besides to have a great sightseeing, we want to prove that you can travel really fast and see a lot on a slow boat. In a very short period of time, we will cover 1200 miles of the coast of Turkey. <laughs> West Virginia, where it wants to sing on a river. I was older, more than eight years, younger than the mountains, growing like a beast. The Bering team is now in Khmer Marina and uh, we are ready to start our incredible journey. So next 10 days we are going to pass around 1,000 miles. And uh, the main idea of this journey is to show people, to show our potential customers how you can travel fast on slow boats. So uh, we often get comments that you guys, you're building really reliable, safe and comfortable boats, but it's just eight knots. And the main idea of this journey is to show you that uh, eight knots is enough to reach great and to reach big distance um, in short time. And we will show you their decision how you can do it. Girls, you ready? midnight. It took us about seven and a half hours to get here and now we starting to see uh, historic places which is abandoned here in this area. So and our guide will help us to learn what was here two, three, four thousand years ago. Okay right now we are in Kekova and we meet our guide. Hi. Hi. What is your name? My name is Aykut. Aykut Ajar. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Now, well, we are in the um, Kekova Bay and this part is called the Sunken City. Um, it was quite big city settled here about uh, second century because of the earthquakes it went down. The first settlement here, the first people, nearly started living here about 5th century before Christ and now this is the shipyard in the ancient times they were building some ships but mostly they were uh, repairing the ships which was damaged in the storms uh, because uh, when there's a storm most of the ships who was uh, transporting goods uh, they were sheltering here and they were getting the help and the repair uh, here in this shipyard and that is, that is just quite a long time but after the earthquakes uh, when the buildings came down and the shipyard sunk and they didn't use it anymore Sarcophagus. Yeah. The sarcophagus, when you look at the top of them, in the Lycian times, 
uh, most of them are built like this. You know, historians making comments. When you look at the top part, the cover yeah. uh, of the sarcophagus, they look like the bottom of the ship. And the bottom of the ship yeah. looks like that. Because yeah. in the ancient world, when you die, uh, they believe that uh, you go on a ship to, from this world to the other one, to oh. Hades. And they were uh, building the sarcophagus to make this passage uh, easy, like the bottom of the boat, that means it's symbolizing a kind of hmm. quick pass, you know. Okay. And they were putting gold uh, or coins on the eyes of the dead person uh, as kind of uh, payments for the people who take the boat, you know. Hmm. And that's why sarcophagus covers mostly built like the bottom of the boat. Myra ancient city. It's one of the biggest cities of uh, Lycian Union. Uh, Myra, about 4th century, 5th century, they started building uh, the tombs from the 4th century, but the uh, amphitheater and here the Roman bath and the basilica, they are from Roman times, the 1st century. And uh, that there was a river here in the ancient times. Uh, the water uh, from the sea was coming till here oh. on the river and they could use the boats to come here and uh, when they built the tombs uh, the water level was a little bit higher of course and they were carved actually not built carved with hammers and everything that's why to build them it takes quite long and in the uh, tombs uh, they have like a normal house in some of them there are three rooms some of them one room you know depends on the importance of the person if they are kings they have got bigger tombs and they have their family members sometimes the king has got his own and his wife own and children next to
this day has finished in uh, Kekova. Uh, this place is called Teyusa. Uh, this uh, was a beautiful supper and this day was really like uh, several days uh, in, in it. We have seen so many uh, places, uh, the fortress Semena, uh, several islands around and uh, it was really full of uh, events and we are ready to go on, we are ready to visit tomorrow. That here it is uh, 70 miles from here and uh, we hope you will follow us, you will continue following us and we will continue showing you the most interesting places.